All right. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, good morning, good evening, or good night, whatever time of day you're watching this. Uh, today, um, in today's experiment, I will be making frost indoors inside a can. Um, but before we start on that, we're going to touch base on a few knowledge areas. So, uh, what is frost? Um, frost is basically uh, when small white crystals form on the... Uh, on the ground or other control or on the ground or other surfaces um, when the temperature falls below freezing um, there is a frost point that point is 32 degrees um, Fahrenheit and uh, zero degrees Celsius so uh, frost point is is when the temperature falls below uh, that temperature range we have uh, zero degrees Celsius 32 32 degrees Fahrenheit um, and basically uh, the moisture will condense and uh, turn into a layer of frost. Um, two things that people or everyone in general get, get mixed up is the uh, dew point and uh, relative uh, humidity. Uh, so uh, dew point is what we want to focus on, uh, especially when we're flying or just looking at the weather in general. Uh, so uh, dew point, uh, it's a constant. Uh, basically, um, it represents um, the temperature to which air would have to be cooled uh, for saturation to occur. And I can see how this uh, can get confused with uh, relative uh, humidity because uh, saturation is in that point as well. But uh, relative humidity is basically uh, it's the ratio of the amount of water vapor actually in the air to the maximum amount of water vapor required for saturation to occur uh, to that pati particular uh, air temperature or uh, pressure. Um, so moving on, uh, we're gonna go to the next slide and uh, I'm going to conduct an uh, conduct a, uh, experiment and um, show you uh, everything required to complete it. Okay, starting off, the items I will need for this experiment ice, table salt, an aluminum can, and a spoon. Alright, let's start this experiment off. So there, there's uh, water molecules and uh, water vapor, moisture in the air all around us. We're going to place the ice into the can and lower the temperature of this can causing a chemical reaction well the salt's going to cause a chemical reaction which will then create frost on the outer layer of the can uh, let's put a little bit more Add a few more ice cubes. This is going to take about 30 seconds to a minute for us to see some change. Um, so I'll go ahead and end this part and start right back up when the frost comes. Well, that didn't take long. It only took about 30 seconds to a minute and there's already frost as you can see forming on the outer layer of the can. Let's give it 30 more seconds to a minute and see where we're at then. Um, basically what we're looking for is something similar to this. We want ice crystals to form on our outer edges of the can uh, like this bowl or normally let's say when you wake up in the morning and you go out to your car and uh, you got frost uh, on the outer windshield and so on so uh, this is basically what we're trying to replicate uh, I just did this as an example and we will return when the frost comes after two to three minutes as you can see we have frost ladies and gentlemen it's formed all around the can um, basically um, 
the lower the air temperature uh, do a dual form so um, the air temperature can actually never drop lower than the dew um, which makes it easy for a weatherman uh, when they report and as you know we have uh, a low and a high for the day so they can have a pretty good estimate on uh, their forecast uh, with the daily low by going off of the dew and um, dew and, and frost is, is most likely to form uh, on cool, calm, clear nights. After cool, after um, all of that uh, light energy has reflected off and gone back to, to space and there's no clouds. Uh, if it was clouds, then it would be sort of like a blanket, uh, which would then reflect the rays back to the earth. Um, so uh, on those clear, calm nights where the wind isn't so high, it allows um, rapid for, for rapid cooling and then for uh, frost or dew to form. And uh, a few uh, dangers that I want to touch up on uh, regarding frost. Uh, aviation wise, we have of course the control surface of the aircraft, uh, disrupts the airflow, uh, reduces performance, um, but more uh, towards uh, weather within uh, civilization we have um, dew and frost which can hurt uh, plants and crops so uh, it would be good for uh, anyone in business to just pay attention to that uh, temperature uh, dew point spread as far as uh, seeing uh, what the weather's going to do it will give us a good indication of what the weather's going to do so